going on a run together. Welcome back to the channel. Today is just a week of my training, which is very different at the moment. Everything is a little bit mixed around, but we're gonna go for how far? So it's 20 minute jog. 20 minute and jog. A 50 minute marathon pace, which 50 for me- 50 minute marathon pace. Is 5K per K. Five minutes per K. 14K done and dusted, 20 minutes. Ben's jogging pace and then 50 minutes at his marathon pace it ended up being 14k which is good really good more so running at a pace now at 11.2 my Achilles really started to kind of boom I'm kind of taking note because last week it was at 7 this week was at 11 so there is improvements week on week which is why I'm taking it so slow to increase the volume that I'm doing and putting through them I am going to go and get some special I'm not going to say what it is yet because it's not 100% but I'm getting something done on my Achilles so hopefully the pain is that is going to reduce but it was good positive do, 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 do. i get so Sorry. sweaty after like those like look at that that is literally this is sweat literally around my boobs is not sweat oh my eyes and everything let's go for a shower is it why you playing the camera you never use a shower we both absolutely stink so we need to go and shower whoa very red just finished run gonna go and eat the run was fine 11.2k was where the achilles hurt so that is what we're gonna work on also, I just want to show you the new Gymshark Rest Day sweats. Like, are you joking? Little crew cropped high neck jumper, little shorts. There's loads of other colors. Actually, let me show you the other colors. We've got like a dark blue, a gray. We've got a mall gray, like a light gray there. Ashy gray, which is the same as the joggers that I always wear. Like a burnt orange. Unbelievable. Please excuse the hair. I'm just finishing off my client check-ins this morning. It's 11 o'clock. I feel like I've already done a lot considering it's 11 o'clock, which is great. I'm reading this book at the moment. It's literally incredible. It's called Soul for Happy. You know, when you're thinking about happiness and the level and what you think it takes to get to being happy, like what is that definition of happiness? Good book. Oh, I forgot. This is what I wanted to show you. So I've described this in another video in terms of my whoops so look at that look at my recovery i'm a little recovery queen i don't know what that was oh that was after my run in the lakes i just didn't obviously recover very well because it was really hot which you can tell by the recovery my recovery always goes down when the weather goes up significantly a few people have asked me what the strain is so this is my strain as you can see i did the run on sunday strain was really high and then sunday we did a hike monday was my session with ash and then these are just like general gym sessions and then this was a run again so mine really peaks so my strain really peaks on runs but what i like is you can see your daily strain your average heart rate but looking at my average heart rate and things like that and then you can compare compare it to my sleep so I didn't sleep as well when it was really hot so that's this bit here but then as it's been cooler since as of this week my recovery is 100% I just feel when when you know what's going what you're doing there with your hair the best thing about understanding your recovery is knowing how far you can push yourself. I trust the whoop. I was having this conversation with Steph. So Steph's recovery has been a bit low recently. And she was like, I trust my whoop. Like I know it's telling me to take a rest and just to pull it back or whatever it is. It's very clever when it knows when you've had alcohol, but I trust it. I just trust it and I feel like it's made me a better performer and then also just in terms of my recovery because I wasn't the best at recovery. I kind of just used to pound it and just carry on. But now I'm like, oh, did I get a good sleep? How's my strain? How's my recovery? How am I feeling? And it is so legit. But I do have a free month. So you can get a free month if you use the link below. So I'll just drop it below. I can't pop it on the screen because then you can't copy and paste it. So I will leave it below um, so you can try. Happy Friday. It is Friday. It is one of my favorite sessions of the week. So I've brought you a Long. I have a few fair bits of like powerlifting stuff to do. So they have just found me. We work on more bench, tempo deadlifts, and then I just kind of do hamstrings and glutes. I also want to show you this cute ass outfit. Obsessed. Are you joking? We love it. We love it. We love it. We love the color. We love the fit. And I'm going to go and train. And 15, tempo, three, two, one. I'm on the top set and it's three lots of five. I've done two, so this is the last one. 55 kg tempo work feels really hard because we're doing three, two, one, two seconds, pause back up. Sometimes I'm really working on it's really gonna help my bench.
yeah, did manage four for the last one, but I'm still really happy with that considering where I was a few weeks ago. We are moving on to tempo deadlifts. So tempo deadlifts are so spicy. Starting nice and light, probably build up to like 85. So I've just done one rep with 110. I'll pop it on the screen because I filmed it. I didn't, did I didn't even film it. That was an hour 15 session. Pretty good considering I did like a lot of deadlifts, a lot of bench. It's all the work that I need to work on like in the other session. So this is posterior chain. Tomorrow I'm gonna to do a run because my best friend's coming from London with her partner and I'm literally so excited to see her. So I'm like not 100% sure on training over the weekend yet. And then Sunday, may go to the gym, might not go to the gym. That was a great session. And if you also agree it was a great session, I think you should subscribe. Morning everyone, up nice and early, it's half six. So Fliss had got here about midnight last night because the traffic was just so bad from London. A sleepy girl this morning. Got my coffee. I'm just gonna go for a run soon. I'm well happy. That's like, I mean, 14, I've not gone past 14K yet. So the fact I did that as a tempo run, 426 pace, is so freaking great. I'm so happy with it. The last 2K was just really uncomfortable. Apart from that, it wasn't actually too bad. Yay. Hello everyone, happy Sunday. So I've not caught up with you. Well, you actually can't even tell because this video is just merged into one video, but I did a run early yesterday morning. So my best friend and her boyfriend were staying this weekend and today I just decided not to train. I slept through my alarm. I obviously needed the sleep. We went to bed quite late. We had a wonderful time. I'm gonna pop up a few pictures today. I've hit. 12,000 sets, which is great. And I just don't, I was going to train this evening. I'm just not going to train. Like I'm not, I'd rather start tomorrow on a bit of a fresher week. So I think training before my session tomorrow with Ash isn't the best idea tonight. So I've hit my steps today. We went to the zoo, it was super nice. But yeah, I'll obviously show you my session tomorrow. Morning everyone. So I've just finished my session with Ash. It was a re, it was, oh, it was a really tough session. I feel like I've got a bit of a niggle in my, not even my lower back, like literally my coccyx. Cock, cock it, cock, <laughs> cock dicks. And I could really feel it. So I'll put in all the videos now of like my training and how it was and things like that. It, it was a, it was a hard session, but I still also did really well. The bench was good, pressing like sixty kilograms, deadlift up to one hundred five for like triple sets and stuff like that. So there's still progression, but I was this little niggle in my back. It felt really strange, but yeah, y'all insert the videos. Come on. Press. Good. And again. Press. Pull. One more, finish it off. Hard work's done then. Pull. 
So excuse the mess behind me, I'm just doing 30 minutes free Zwift, just like, so free flow and Zwift is where you're not following a set program. They give you training programs. I did one last week, I can't remember what day it was, let me know it was in this. I did, there was something called the Wrangler and getting the watts up to like 360 and I just, I finished and I just threw up because it was so hard. Really, really pushing myself on the bike. Doing around two bikes a week, two runs, four free lifts, weightlifting without ash and then one ash session. It's just training is tough at the moment, I'm really enjoying it, I'm really pushing myself. It's slightly different, obviously, <laughs> what I was doing with my ultra it's completely different but yeah the bike is just whew, you get hot so that's my zwift the garage is an absolute state but that is my zwift this is my bike i've actually not got my cleats yet i need to get my cleats but woo 18k done 35 mins speed 30.5 zwift is literally i don't know why it's definitely like what i just did there is not as hard as like running but you just i don't know my garage is just really hot you just you just get really freaking hot well i was supposed to get up this morning to go and do a quad workout and a run and as I went to bed last night, I had just been throwing up. I've just been very ill. I have food poisoning. I've not had food poisoning for so many years. So I'm obviously not training today. This is just really sad. I need to end the video. I'm really sorry that I just literally look and feel like absolute shit. Um, but everyone gets ill and I didn't want to just hide. I was like, yeah, I think you can do a session. Hopefully I'll feel better soon. But wow, I do not feel good. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one.